Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes? Andreo, just going over those uh, last-minute strategy changes you sent over. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make it clear. Whatever happens out there today, I get pit priority, yeah? <laughs> well, we'll see how the race develops. If you need priority, you'll get it. But I can't go into the race with that on the table. Look, 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 look. We all know Jackson's not pulling his way. Now, if you want the points, I need to make sure he's not going to get in my way. Do you get me? Devon, 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 we've talked about this. Give Aiden some space. It's not about you getting in the way of each other. It's about everyone pulling together, racing as a team. Of course, of course, yeah. So, uh, pit priority, yeah? <laughs> All right, ciao. Into turn two we go now. Butler comes out of the pit lane. Jackson is right there with him. This is dicey, Ant. Neither one of these two wants to give way. This would have been a lot cleaner if Jackson had just let him go. He's just not giving him an inch. They continue onwards, still wheel to wheel, almost touching there as well, as we head down the straight towards the next chicane. Nothing to separate either car, and through the chicane we go! And now Jackson sends them both off the track, and Butler over a curb. That looked nasty. And I do believe that one of their cars is damaged here, Crofty. I think it's Butler. Damage, Ant, but also they've lost places too. Unbelievable and totally unnecessary as well. Well, one damaged car, places now to make up. What a complete mess that was. Okay, calm yourself down. We'll look at it in the debrief later, but right now I want you to go and get those places back. Come on, let's go.
that place back. Okay, gaps of the car ahead is 2.8 seconds. Okay, push, push, gap to the car behind, 2.1 seconds. Okay, mate, that was an illegal manoeuvre. You've got to cede that position or we'll receive a penalty. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Well done. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining, five laps of fuel left. Caution, caution. Okay, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 1.8 seconds. that place back I'm afraid that was an illegal overtake ok 
day. We've got four laps of fuel remaining. Now, keep it up. Nice work, mate. That brings you up a place. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. job that was the fastest lap of the race so far OK, pick up rubber and bring it home. So it's been a day of 
drama here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve today. Brandt, what stood out for you? Well, it must be the Connor Sport moment between the two drivers there. Banging wheels, not giving each other room on track. It was entertaining, of course, but definitely for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, we enjoyed it, certainly. And Aidan Jackson, well, he'd have enjoyed the result. He did well to recover. He did do well to recover, but, you know, you never want to see two cars, if, if you're the team boss, seeing two cars hit each other. It's rule number one. Don't hit your teammate. Given all the problems they've had this season, though, getting one car over the finish line, that's probably a big result for them today. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. Aiden, just uh, just a heads up. We're putting the debrief back by 30 minutes. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Listen, while I've got you on, what happened out there today? It wasn't my fault. Devon thinks he's the only one driving. I don't want to dwell on it too much at the meeting, but this is not how you run a team. You know this. Of course. It's just... No, no. I don't want to hear it. We have enough problems as it is. Whatever has gone on between you two in the past, I need you to put it to bed. Sure. I don't want to have to talk to you like this, Aiden, and I'll be saying the same to Devon. Come on now. Sure. See you at the debrief.